I don't want it to be the end. <laughs> but what a way to go out, you know. Huh. Um, well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, today is a big day for our oldest. Weston qualified for the state track meet. This is his first year for track ever. So we're going to bring you guys along. He qualified in the high jump, long jump. He's doing really, really well in the high jump. That's where we're. That's where his main focus is right now. He's uh, tied for second in the state overall throughout the whole through the season. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing him on the podium this afternoon, hopefully. Fingers crossed and he has a good day. He's such a good kid under pressure. That's the thing about Weston is when it, when it comes like basketball and sports and things, when, when the pressure's on is when he shines. And when things are easy, he tends to kind of fall apart. So the state track tournament, there's gonna be a lot of good athletes here. And uh, I think he's got a good shot at getting on the podium, if not winning the high jump. Long jump's gonna be kind of a long shot. He's not, not ranked real high in the long jump, but uh, it doesn't matter. He's, he qualified, and this is his first time ever. First time ever doing track since junior high, maybe, something like that. No, all through high school, he just played baseball and uh, skipped out on the track stuff, and this year he decided he wanted to run track, or jump track, mostly, I guess. But anyways, he stayed night at a different hotel. The school brought all the kids up last night, and they went out to eat and stuff, so we come up, got a room as a family, stayed at the, the Hard Rock Hotel, and had a good time, so. We're gonna go enjoy some track. First call, field event. Boys high jump, girls long jump, girls shot put, boys discus, girls pole ball. Dutch just almost isn't tall enough to see over the fence. <laughs> hey, I gotta get a little stool Should have brought you a stool. <laughs> this fence is like seven foot tall. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's a high fence. Perfect for normal height <laughs> people. <laughs> Anything you want to say? No? The Bay of Foster of Patusa Choir, please report to the Bay of Foster. Discover your best deal at the Oklahoma Ford Leader because Ford is the best for Oklahoma. Like, yeah, like the 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 here. Do not stand the against the rail. I don't want to see you get kicked out for touching the rail. Exchange zone three. We have white eyes all the way around the track, Mr. Starter. Alright, Weston, second attempt. Sponsor of the OSSDA. Is she taller? Encourages students across Oklahoma to develop healthy habits so that they can always compete in the game, whether it's in sports, music. It's nervous. <laughs> he cleared it pretty easy. That was his third and final attempt at six foot. So he was struggling to get over six foot, but uh, I think we're down to about top five right now. So maybe six. We're pretty close. So we weeded through the competition, <laughs> getting down to the ones that can really jump. That was tough. That was scary. <laughs> not awkward at all talking to the camera from this big crowd but Weston and one other kid are the only ones that cleared 6-2 on the first jump so there's like eight or nine or ten left so they got three attempts but Weston and one other kid got it on the first jump so that's really good for him. Oh, that 
close. So close. Yeah. These guys should be wondering why we have a delay. <laughs> Alright, third and final attempt, 6-4. Never cleared 6-4 in the meet, but I'm fixing to do it right now. Get it, Wes! Yeah. Showed up that nobody expected him to. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't think he did. No. <laughs> From here, it's hard to see this, but that sign says 610. This kid's jumping 610. Clearly, he's a state champion, but he's still going. Everybody else went out at 66. Second place or 6'4? 6'4. Okay. Second place was 6'4, and this kid's made it all the way up to 6'10. Finishing fourth place from Locust Grove, Dylan Torres. Winning the bronze medal from Sulphur for a third place finish, Weston Arms. This year's 2021 4A Boys High Jump Gold Medal, Marlboro High School Sophomore. Longest jump? I don't know if I made it to the finals yet. Oh, I thought you said you did. What was your longest jump so far? 19.9 and a quarter. And that was your PR on what now? My wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the right foot. Maybe it was I the guess, right foot. I don't know. 
It just feels weird. I jumped and it felt weird. Yeah, I jump on my right usually. Hey, coach, can you right there? What's the story? Did not make the finals. How many are they taking the finals? Eight. There's like Just, there's like four people that jumped over 21. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, but they're impressive. taking eight. Well, the other the other four jumped farther than me. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, don't you know? Yeah. Well, Dutch told him at the last track. In that, in that well, you win, you jump higher and farther. Well, we just made it home from state track meet. Weston got third place in the high jump. I think he come in, we figured up about 10th in the long jump, which we knew he wasn't gonna, long jump was not his strong suit. We didn't think he would be on the, you know, top end of that one, but he was, it was worth a shot and uh, I'm proud of him. He did great. Still 10th in the state, I'll take it. 10th in the state is pretty good for a kid that hasn't been in track all through high school. Yeah. So uh, it was a lot of fun. It's been great being a part of track season. That's kind of new for us. And uh, Weston just decided he wanted to do it this year. But we come home to a problem. So when we pulled in the driveway, Whopper is standing down by the creek. And all the alpacas are in our front yard. <laughs> but the donkeys went back in. Yeah, the donkeys were in the yard too. And uh, apparently either a chain got broken or someone opened a gate. I don't know but all of our alpacas the donkey poodles are in the yard you've got porch poodles porch <laughs> no, donkey I poodles don't. they are not staying here <laughs> porch pets <laughs> all right well let's go everybody everybody back oh look here comes steve steve and freedom walking out the gate now Rufus, you lead the charge. Hmm. You're doing good, Houston. Steve, hey, turn and go back in. Well, that was, that was almost too easy. Well, I see the problem. Come off. How did that come off? It got broken. I had this. I had this wired onto the chain and somebody pushed on it hard enough. I guess they they broke it. So now I gotta go find Whopper. See if yeah. he'll come back up here. Oh, that's great. There's baby cheeks! There's more baby cheeks! Yeah. Oh. Here comes Whopper. Really, Earl? It's the only time he barks. You're ferocious catch dog. <laughs> he never barks, except at animals. Yeah. I was fixing it. Take my bucket of feed and go find Whopper, and he come running back to the house. Well, thanks for coming back, Whopper. Hey, easy. Don't chase him. Hang on. Come on, Whopper. Come on. Come on, Whopper. Come on, I got you some food here. Come on, Whopper. I'm trying to get out of his way. Come on, Whopper. Well, let's try again. Come on, Whopper. Come on, Whopper. There you go. Well. That was easier than I expected. A lot easier than I expected, but it's kind of nice when animals are trained to a feed bucket because they get to know you, they get to trust you, and then you know, you're feeding them every day, they'll come to that feed bucket. But uh, it's almost a stressful evening coming home and all the animals are out and scattered around. That could have been, could have been really bad, but luckily they didn't go very far and it was just a busted latch on the chain. So no big deal. We'll. Uh, Get the rest i got one one mama goat and two kids that are in there with with the uh the animals they're not supposed to be in with but uh we've been on the road for the last three hours been in track out in the sun all day and i'm tired she can stay there for the night 
So I don't know if it comes across on video or not, but today's like the most uh, sentimental, emotional, train wreck kind of day. Like this woman woke up this morning and had, she was more nervous than if she was in the state tournament going for a gold medal. Yeah. And I think- I had to, some stomach issues and yeah. nerves and- I, I think today, I mean, for us as, as, I mean, I would say we're still young parents, but obviously Weston's our oldest and we're, we're still, this is our first one to, to grow up. And today was his last high school sporting event. And Weston has been a sports nut his whole life. Like every sport, he's just incredibly good at every sport. And this was his last, maybe not last sporting event ever, but last high school event and graduations next week you're just waiting for me to cry mm -hmm. so um I, I i played sports in school but i wasn't a sports nut I played sports because that's what everybody did. Her family, sports is, they're, they're sports nuts. Like everyone, like that's what they all talk about. That's what they do, that's what, it's it's huge. Much, much more deeper than it is with me. And we've chased Weston from the time he was in T-ball. Like I was his T-ball coach the first year, you know, and all the way up through coach pitch and little league and basketball and football. Now track, it's just been, it's been a, quiet, a wild, crazy, emotional day in the last couple of weeks. But, you know, I feel like sports is, is who Weston is. Like that's, that's part of his calling in life. And I don't know where that's gonna lead him. I have no idea. He's got an offer or two for basketball for college, but he hasn't made up his mind yet. And he doesn't know what he's gonna do. And, and that's okay, so. You know, maybe today might have been the last last game ever, but maybe not. We don't know yet. No. Doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. This is strange. Like, I don't know. I, mean, I don't even know what to say. I, it's just, it's been a, an amazing ride. Um, so many ups and downs and, uh, you know, we've got, well, We've probably got 10,000 pictures of Weston playing sports and hundreds of hours of video of him from the time he was little bitty all the way up. And like, that's what our family's done for the last 15 years is follow him through sports. And that's where his passion's at. And that's where your family's passion's at. And it's just, it's, it's hard knowing that today might've been the end of that. I'm not even I'm not even sad that he's graduating I'm excited for that and for that next step but just change is hard and weird and yeah he's just amazing at just about everything he does athletically and um, I don't want it to be the end <laughs> but what a way to go out you know huh. um, hasn't done track since um, I don't know seventh or eighth grade I think seventh and um, came out and is you know third place high jumper in the state of Oklahoma in 4a and it's just amazing to me yeah what he can do yeah it's it's crazy you know I, I we were talking about how we were going to end this video and I kind of you know suggested making it a we just, just, I mean, be honest and truthful and emotional, but almost just like a, a video to Weston to say, we're proud. We're proud of who you are. We're proud of your accomplishments. And I, it's been such a, such a blessing and such an honor to, to get to go to games and, and, you know, watch him be the leader of the team or the, the high scorer or, or the guy that they trust when they need, when they put him under pressure, when Weston's under pressure is when Weston performs. 
and I said that today even in the video, you know, when he went out there when he was had missed six foot twice and you know, he goes out there and nails it on the third try and then, you know, he goes on to win third place. But we didn't think he was gonna make it past six foot. And, and then he made six two the first jump. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Weston's an incredible person and I know he's going to do awesome things in life and whatever he chooses to do um, even though it's not on not on our family YouTube channel very much <laughs> maybe one of these days he'll come around <laughs> <laughs> but anyways I don't want this to last I don't want this to go on forever is there anything you want to say I'm just so proud of him I'm so proud of us <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, parenting teenagers does not come without struggles to say the least, but, um, and I know we are not perfect parents and we're learning as we go with him and we'll do better with the next two, I think, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you learn, you know, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. And us. <laughs> I feel like I need a reward. <laughs> should mom needs it. Mom needs one of those medals that he got up on the podium and got yeah, today. I should have got to stand up there with him. Should get something at graduation. <laughs> yes, yes. We need to get mom a big medal of achievement yeah. for Weston's graduation. <laughs> yeah. I did so. not do this alone. No. Um, I mean, obviously we did this together, but so many people have helped him along the way. Um coaches and family I think I'm spending too much time on this <laughs> anyway so many people have loved him and encouraged him and supported him and we thank all of you for that I don't know if you will see this but but we love y'all and we thank you that's it that's I gotta it. get off here before I go into the ugly crap <laughs>